Hey everyone, Fear Crawler here. Welcome to the video. Boy, you guys are in for a rare treat today. I was just checking my emails this morning, and someone sent me a viewer submitted horror story I think you guys are just gonna love. And from what I understand, it's gonna be a G rated, family friendly, super popcorn and soda, stay up late, Halloween appropriate kind of story that all the kids are sure to enjoy. And without further ado, on with the video. Within the last couple of months, my computer mouse hadn't been working properly on my computer, and I had tried using multiple computer mouses. It was irritating, and I really needed my computer to do my job when I was not in the office. I'm one of those guys who brought his work life home. It was destroying my marriage and even my relationship with my child, but at least the bills got paid. I changed the computer itself, and still the computer mouse never worked for any kind of computer I got. Even though this sounds like a small problem, it was really starting to get to me. It's the small things that cause the biggest bumps in life. Like when you lose your car keys so you can't drive your car. Or when you forget a password and you can't log into something that you desperately need to. These small problems cause the greatest pain. We had a pet mouse. One day my son comes crying to me telling me that his pet mouse had died. I was just too busy worrying about the computer and the broken computer mouse to absorb whatever my son was telling me. I was that clueless that I just casually put the dead mouse on my desktop, and my son just went out of the room feeling satisfied that I would deal with it. When I realized that I had a dead mouse on my desk, I was a little disgusted, but I noticed that the pointer on the computer screen was now moving slightly. I tried moving the computer mouse, but nothing happened. But when I moved the dead mouse on my desk, the pointer on my computer screen started working. I could click on things again. It was a miracle. I could do some work at home now. And even though it was weird and just illogical that I was using a dead mouse as a computer mouse, it was better than nothing. When the dead mouse started to turn to bones, it started to lose its effect on the computer. I tried getting a proper computer mouse, but it didn't work. I tried changing the computer again, but I became angry when the new computer failed to work. Something was off, and I didn't have time to investigate properly. So I got another pet mouse from the pet shop, and killed it straight away when I got home. To my delight, the dead mouse worked way better as a computer mouse than the last and I managed to keep its body from rotting by keeping it in the fridge. I just needed to get stuff done for my job when I was at home. And when you need to get stuff done, you do whatever you have to do to keep everything balanced. If I had lost my job, then everything around me would have crumbled. I started to notice that every time I used a real dead mouse as a computer mouse, my need for the computer kept on growing. Like, I would get urgent calls from work ordering me to get something done. Otherwise, I would be in trouble and my job would be on the line. If the electrical computer mouse failed to work, I would start having the worst thoughts running through my head. Then, without even thinking, I would just find any small animal and then kill it to use it as a replacement computer mouse to get my work done. I did start to get worried about how I was becoming too comfortable using small dead animals in times of desperation as a replacement. I mean, how can a small innocent animal be able to be used as a computer mouse? They're not even electrical. I remember once I woke up to a phone call from my boss shouting at me for forgetting to do something at work, and I needed to get it done from home. You see, my job deals with insurance and we have major deals with many large companies. I quickly got up, and somehow, I had a dead animal in my hand as well as a bloody knife. I couldn't even remember killing it. It was a small mouse. I went down into my computer room in my house to work. When I was finishing up the task, I could hear my son crying. After completing what needed to be done on the computer, I was now back to earth and my son's crying was really loud and quite troublesome. The dead mouse in my hand didn't feel like a rat, and I could feel its skin easily come off. As I took off the dead mouse's skin, 
I realized it wasn't skin, but a cloth-like material. Like a costume. Under the costume was a small boy's hand. I remembered my little boy was going to a costume party dressed as a mouse, and his costume had mouse-shaped hands that went with the rest of the outfit. I realized what I had done. That moment woke me up and shook me to my core. My son's crying was only getting louder, and I could hear the ambulance and police sirens as they approached my house. And then, all of a sudden, the normal electrical computer mouse started to work again. Whoa. That got way darker than I thought it was going to. I can't help but feel at least partly responsible for all the children I probably just traumatized. Well, I guess I'm just gonna get back to these old emails here and uh, see if another viewer sent me a horse to... Ugh. The mouse isn't working. Kitty. Oh, I kid, I kid. I'm not gonna stab the cat. I did that last week. <laughs>